everyone and welcome to or back to my channel so today I'm back with a super exciting video I am going to be doing my first kind of like apartment video or I guess second because I already did the apartment hunting so I guess second apartment video I'm gonna be doing an apartment shopping vlog and this is kind of my first round of apartment shopping I'm definitely gonna be doing a second apartment shopping vlog this is my first time moving out so I never went away to school so I literally don't have like anything for my apartment like I don't have any kitchen supplies I don't have like all I have is like what's in my bedroom now. So I'm going to be having to buy a lot of stuff for my first apartment. I've known that I'm going to be moving out. Like I knew this was like coming. I knew I'd be moving out soon. So I have saved back money for this. I've worked basically two full-time jobs. I have saved back money kind of knowing that this was coming so that I would be able to buy like what I needed when the time came. If you guys are considering moving out, definitely save back some money because it is expensive. There are so many random things that you need. It definitely all adds up. So I remember watching... Haley Pham's video whenever she moved out probably a few years ago and she was talking about how expensive it is and how it all adds up really quick and I was thinking then I was like I need to start saving money for this I just kind of wanted to say that as like I guess a disclaimer but also to help you guys if you're going to be moving out in the next couple years to start saving money back now and just putting a little bit of money back yeah so I am going to be doing some apartment shopping basically I don't move out for another month I move out in October I just wanted to kind of do all of this early I actually started this apartment shopping vlog in July I wanted to start shopping early just so I didn't have so many expenses at once anyways that's kind of what I've done so I just kind of filmed these clips over the last month or so and wanted to kind of throw it all in one video for an apartment shopping vlog so I went to Target, Ikea, um, Walmart and a few other places also I'm gonna be doing a huge haul I think I'm gonna wait till I actually move into my apartment collective kind of home essentials haul once I move into my apartment. So that'll go up in like a month and you'll see a big haul of all the things I kind of showed you in this video. I think that's all I needed to say. Sorry if this intro was a little rambly. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm gonna be doing an empty apartment tour in one of the vlogs coming. Look out for that. So subscribe if you're not subscribed, turn on the notification bell. Also follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26 because I'm posting a lot of like moving and apartment content on there as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the apartment shopping vlog. Comment below your guys' favorite like home essentials. Like, what do you have in your like apartment or home that you just like couldn't live without? Because I feel like there's a lot of things I'm forgetting. Also like your favorite place to shop at. Um, right now I'm kind of obsessed with Target. Comment those below and I will check out your guys' favorite things and favorite places in the next vlog. So currently right now, we are just getting started. It is July 25th. Today's kind of the very first thing that I'm doing to kind of get started on moving. I'm actually gonna be going shopping and just kind of getting those necessities, kind of things that I can get without being in my apartment and taking measurements. I have this gigantic list on my phone. I found an article online that said everything you need for your first apartment and it really did have everything listed. So I will link that article below if I can find it again. Just kind of all those like random things that I know I'm gonna need that I can just get now. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm mostly, I think I'm just gonna go to Target today. I will eventually be going to Ikea as well. You guys know my obsession with Ikea. We're just getting everything ready to actually move in. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Go shopping. Mm -hmm. I should get this uh, Bona cleaning thing. My mom has this and she likes it because you don't have to rebuy the um, pads, but you don't have to rebuy the liquid for the inside. Or there's this one that's $11.99 and it just looks like this, but you have to rebuy the pads. Getting some kitchen supplies. Already gotten a few things. Cleaning kitchen. I got a little salt and pepper grinder. I got a steamer. I went with this one because the other, the best rated one is $60 and this one is $29 and I don't think I'm going to use it very often. Still, you know, it's the number one best seller. So I'm looking at towels and like kind of like bathroom stuff. This is the picture I took in the apartment. It kind of is gray and white, so maybe like this with gray. <laughs> Not too boring. My bathroom now that I've grown up in, like my childhood bathroom has always been pink, so like I'm kind of thinking of something new. I love this green, but this is what my sister got for her college bathroom, so I feel like I'd be copying her. Pick up this bath mat, just kind of put it on the outside of the shower, soak up all the water, it's super soft. My sister got one of these. I got these um, white with the gray stripes, and then just these white plain ones, like it's fresh and it'll go with whatever shower curtain I end up getting. I think I'm gonna get this toaster here. It's only $16 and I like the black on the side with the stainless steel on the front and 
I just, I think it'll be nice. It's just a two-little slot. Um, I applied for the Target Red card, got approved, and currently, as of right now filming this, it's July, so it probably won't be going on by the time I upload this. During a promotion, and you get $40 off for getting approved, for applying and getting approved. And so I got $40 like credit to use later. I also saved the 5%, which is only like $13, but it's still like basically like getting something for free. So it's awesome. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is August 3rd. Um, I'm doing some more shopping. I think I'm going to go to a few different stores that are that's a little bit further away. I'm gonna go to like a super target that has a lot more variety. I think I'm gonna go to Home Goods, maybe even like Walmart for some kind of like essentials that are just looking to be a little bit cheaper. Just a bunch of random places for some necessities. I actually made an Excel spreadsheet, so I'll show you really quickly because if you guys are moving out, I feel like this could be really helpful for you. Um, so I made a buy now, a get later, a furniture, and then a bring from home column. There's a lot of things that I can just bring from home that I don't need need to necessarily go out and buy like just to kind of write all those things down so I don't have to so I can just like remember just like as I thought about it I wrote it down kind of priced it out so I could have an idea of how much I'm gonna spend also I color coded it so I color coded it based on where I think I'm gonna get it from so I did yellow for Ikea pink for Target and then I did like green for Costco so I just like kind of color coded it that way when I'm going to those stores I can just pull this up and know like yellow is like my list for Ikea mainly for the buy now column because that's mainly the places I'm going now. They're kind of organized by the section so I have all the bathroom stuff together, the kitchen stuff together. I have another column where I put the price in there and then I can you know do a Excel formula sort of thing and kind of just like a budget of how much I'm gonna spend. Yet later is just kind of like the fun stuff that I want but don't necessarily need. Anyways just thought I would show you guys because it's super organized. Anyways now today I'm just gonna go get some more random things maybe like more cleaning stuff, pots and pans, probably a lot of kitchen supplies. I'm excited. I'm not going to Ikea today, but I'll probably go to Ikea next, like the next time you see me. I'm shopping with my mom again today and take you guys with. Also, you guys should follow me on Pinterest because I have all my inspo on there. I actually have an entire apartment board with four or five different sections of like living room, kitchen, organization. You guys should definitely follow me on there if you're interested in like kind of the vibes I'm going for because I have a whole bunch of different things. That's enough rambling for now. I'm just gonna take you guys along with for today. Um, like I said, I'm going to a whole bunch of random places, so it's gonna be like a whole bunch of shopping. We are at Target, and not only just Target, but a super Target. Um, there's all these kinds of cute decorations. Magnolia. I thought this would be cute to put my remotes in on my coffee table. There's so many cute things. Super Target is popping off in the decoration area look how cute this would be i'm thinking about getting a white couch so that would be a nice little throw really just can't control myself today this target has everything $55 for trash literally <laughs> i'm gonna get this trash can this is exactly what i was looking for to put my throw blankets in in my living room because i kind of am going for white with like little black accents here and there because my counter is black i was thinking this would be really cute to put like all my throw blankets in um it's 25 dollars, which is definitely more than i was wanting to spend but it's like exactly what i was looking for could you like a basket Ooh, something like this would be cute too even more expensive but it will look cute we walked past the tvs just to kind of get an idea what tvs are available that sort of thing and then there was this one there were a couple tvs sitting there that had been marked down to 189 dollars i was expecting to spend like 350 on a tv here it's just like an lg 4k sort of tv the electronics department in target said like they had just marked them down today it's perfectly good tv like an upgrade from what we have currently in our house i just went ahead and got it because that just seemed like a super good deal. I was not planning on getting a TV today, but I just did not want to pass up on that deal. They said it would probably sell like super soon. I'm here at Walmart. Everything is like a lot cheaper. So I just wanted to save some money on these things that are a little bit cheaper, but I can still get some quality brands. So yeah, I'm just picking up a few things here. So I'm getting some more kitchen things, mostly just like utensils. I'm trying to decide to go with these. These ones are just so aesthetic. 
I think I'm gonna get a vacuum. I think I'm gonna get this one. Get a little research and it gets four and a half stars. Seems to be the best for the price. It's only $54. Get one of these little shower caddy. I think I'm gonna go with this color. I think it'll look better in there. So I finished up at Walmart. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm vlogging myself going to Walmart. I spent less than $200 and I got so many things. I normally don't shop at Walmart. There's a lot of good stuff and very good deals. Somehow, I don't know how, I ended up back at the Super Target. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's actually the next day. Today is an exciting day because I'm actually going to Ikea. Lauren is coming along as well. Hola. Lauren is coming along as well. So Lauren has great taste when it comes to like interior design and decorating, so she's coming along today. I'm not planning on getting like any furniture, but if I find something I really like that I think I should get, then I might just get something. But I'm really just planning on going to kind of look at the furniture and, you know, kind of get an idea of what I might be looking for. Actually just buy all the remaining like little things that I need, um, which would be mostly just like little kitchen things. I do know I want the, I don't know how to say this, but like Ictorp. <laughs> The Ictorp couch. It's just like the white plain couch from Ikea. It's usually, it used to be like in the first room when you first walk in, like if all the Ikeas are the same, which I'm assuming they are, but now they've replaced it with another one. That couch is like super cute and I've always wanted it. And now I've decided that I definitely do want a white L-shaped kind of couch. And I probably will go with the Ikea one because I have kind of looked around and that one is a fraction of the price and it has really good reviews. I'll just tell you guys kind of what I'm thinking for furniture really quick while we're driving to Ikea. So this picture on uh, Pinterest and this is kind of exactly what I was en envisioning in my head and after all the pictures and shopping and stuff, online shopping and looking, browsing, whatever that I've been doing, this is kind of exactly what I've been envisioning. So I'm kind of saving this as my inspiration picture. It's got like a white L-shaped couch and kind of like a tan kind of cream rug i want it to be like really soft i was thinking probably wood a wood coffee table and, and like one end table just because a lot of my kitchen is going to be wood and black so i think it would just complement what's in the kitchen but the media stand i might even do like black because i think it would complement again kind of like the black countertop in the kitchen right at ikea so you kind of have an idea of what i'm looking for here as far as furniture um so i'm just seeing if anything really catches my eye This couch is cute. I'm just getting some kitchen utensils. I'm not really vlogged in Ikea because I've just been browsing at the furniture and I didn't really find anything, shockingly. They didn't have the couch I wanted and nothing else had really popped out at me. And I'll probably do furniture shopping in the next vlog. So I've just gotten cheese grater, a couple strainers, a knife <laughs> and a bottle opener for like wine. Lauren's picked out a few things. I'm really needing a spatula but I can't find one. So here's my options. So I got a white set of white dishes, like an 18 set. So I got a little bit of these pink dishes just to like mix in and add some color because they're super cute and I love pink. Um, I didn't get the whole set, I just got a few like a la carte. These are stoneware and it's the flit light 18 piece set which is what I was planning to get. But my mom thinks it would be better for me to get the Ikea 365, like the plates you just get like individually, like on their own, like because they're porcelain so they won't scratch. And I also almost like the shape of them better. It's very slight. I think I'm just gonna spend more and get them all individually so they're porcelain rather than stoneware so they don't scratch. But then just like the prepackaged set. Lauren's doing some shopping as well. She put this like, kind of like the ones I got yesterday to put like throw blankets in. Major hack, Lauren told me about the Ikea as is section. I did not know about this. And basically everything is like super discounted. It's like an Ikea garage sale. It's just a bunch of random stuff that probably got returned because it's, you know, something is slightly wrong with it. And so they're selling it for like clearance. Just found all these champagne glasses for 50 cents and they all seem like perfectly fine other than they're really dusty on the bottom. I'm just gonna get them because I was thinking about getting champagne glasses but I pretty much never drink champagne, but it would just be nice to have. Great find. I also found all the pink dishes I was gonna get. So we are leaving Ikea. So we had a pretty successful Ikea trip. We found lots of good things. 
I'm checking in. It's actually quite a bit later now. It is now 6 p.m. Just got back from Ikea. I got quite a few things. I definitely want to show you. I honestly might show you guys in a separate haul. Like, I hate to do that and, like, be like, hey, look at all these cute things. Oh, wait, I'm not going to show you. But... I honestly might do a whole separate haul because I feel like it will make this video like 20 minutes longer. Get a few things at Ikea, honestly not as much as I planned. I wanted to get a whole like dish set, all my glasses, all my silverware, and I didn't end up getting all of those things. I think I'm gonna get my silverware somewhere else because I didn't find any I liked. Got a few things, so I got like a, a, quite a few things checked off my list, just not everything. I'm definitely gonna go back to Ikea. I am looking at silverware at Target. I really like this one. It's basic like these ones right here they feel really nice and like thick i passed by the magnolia section and i'm going a little crazy here once again um i needed some like decorative towels for my bathroom so i actually got both of these because i'm not sure which ones i like more i just think they're so cute also got this for this like decorative like hanging towel section in my bathroom i thought that would be cute as well but a bunch of these just like countertop storage to put like cotton pads and stuff in i'm just like obsessed with everything here I like want and need it all. Like I'm just obsessed. <laughs> I got this throw blanket, la throw blanket last time and now I kind of want to get this one for the fall. Like, oh, she's a queen. She's literally a queen. Okay, so that was the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said in the beginning, comment below your favorite home essentials and your favorite places to shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell. That way you can be notified whenever I post the empty apartment tour and also all the moving vlogs. Definitely follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.com. 26 and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye